me, tattooing is such a different, distinct medium than painting. The tattoo visual language and how it needs to conform to and flow with this highly irregular shape of the human body. To me, there, there's a whole other set of like criteria and parameters on how to design that and what you should do to make that hold up over time and last a long time for the wearer of the tattoo. To me, tattooing more and more boils down to minimalism. How can you reduce all the elements to make a very strong, readable, flowing design on a 3D body part? You can add back in with detail and get a little more complex through however you make your tattoo design, but you have to strip it down to just this very minimalistic core of like simple shapes that fit and flow with the irregular shape of the body part you're working And take into account skin tone, lifestyle, how much sun they get, all that stuff. Very clear, distinct areas of light and dark. That's step number one, I think, is how a tattoo ages well. And then the appropriate size and spacing between all that. So don't smush a bunch of darks all together if they need to stand out. Earlier this year, I had found some old fish bones on the beach. Um, and fish bones have a lot of cool like textures and shapes in them, and especially when they're like weathered and aged and starting to crack. And you know, I brought those into my digital design prep, manipulated them, drew on top of them. So it's a mix of like basically Photoshop plus drawing on top of that, and then came up with the reference, like a very, very developed, detailed reference image that inspired her tattoo, which in the end, honestly, doesn't, in my opinion, look too much like that reference, but is very much inspired by it and incorporates a lot of elements from it. I, I still usually like to start from life and then adapt, evolve, or somehow transform it as needed for the, to meet the client's design wishes or needs. Usually the answer for me of when something becomes art is when there's a higher intention towards it. There's, it has a purpose like beyond itself. It's a very fulfilling feeling to have made something with your own hands and mind and ingenuity. You made something that didn't exist previously in this world. It's a very godlike feeling, if not a small one, but still that's what you feel. And then quickly replaced by, for me, insecurity, doubt, and fear that it didn't come out exactly good enough that the, of how I wanted it. Oh, I could have done this thing a little bit better. Just that incessant perfectionism that drives the next thing I do. an artist or a tattoo artist makes a tattoo machine, it's, it's coming from a more intimate knowledge of, of, of the craft. I think there's certain things that could be easily overlooked um, that uh, a tattooer making a tattoo machine is going to think of. It definitely has has more torque, you know, it has, it has punch at lower speeds and at higher speeds. It doesn't really seem to be affected by the needle grouping you're using, it just runs. A lot of artists could benefit or stand to learn from some of the aspects that a NUMA 4 presents where it's like the bridge between a coil machine and a pen style rotary. If you're a tattooer who's already developed a way that you like to work, you can take a newer machine and tinker with it and swap out the cams and make it work the way you already know it needs to work because you already have developed your way of tattooing.